join. Why? Is it because you're a pastor's wife? I don't have pastor's wife on here. For school. Is, there, is everything okay? Oh my God, he's paining me. I don't know. Should I, should I, should I get drugs for you across the street? Yes, please do. Get me my purse, please. Okay, ma. Temple is temple and dad is dad. They are different individuals under the law. Honestly, I see no reason why the police should come threatening to arrest dad for a crime committed by temple. It's impossible. I, I, I can't comprehend it. So, we are sounding like this because we are not there. The three armed officers that refused to be intimidated by your father were here. They threatened that your father should provide temple or he will be arrested. That's around nonsense. <laughs> Mom, that is around nonsense. Honestly, I can't get it. Why are we all suffering like this? Look at Annabelle. The innocent Annabelle. Who's also chased out of her husband's house for no just cause. Mom, what is actually happening? What? Son, have you not heard? What? We are talking of Anada being chased out. Christy is also back home. She's in the house with us. Back home? Back as in how? Her husband sent her back. Mom. Mom. This. This is impossible. 
I saw Christy a few days ago. Heavily pregnant. Honestly, mom, what is happening? Her husband sends her packing, even with the pregnancy. Eh? It's quite disturbing. I can't imagine that. Mom, what is that doing about this? If I has got future, I don't mind giving up of my wealth all for the sake of your happiness. But it's not. You can't possibly say that, Dad. You do not know Jack. He's a hard-working and an ambitious young man. He's got future. He has got no future. And that is why I am telling you to stop whatever you have going on with him. Dad, we are engaged. Return his ring. I can't, Dad. I'm sorry. I am sorry too. Because I am not going to give you a time to get to me. Hi! You're okay, son. Hey! <laughs> My son, we are finished. Everything your father has worked for has just disappeared in a twinkle of an eye. His shop was gutted by fire. And even all the goods that arrived yesterday from Wharf is all raced down. He's a liar! I don't know what to do. What do I do now? Oh. My God. What sort of a dream was that? I don't understand it. And I know that dream must be from the pit of hair. Not for the children of God. Oh. Jesus is more than you. inviting you in for the night. No. Is there any problem? For how long are you going to pretend that all is well? Just imagine how comfortable you feel. There is this Igbo adage that says, a man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Give me that attitude. Your house is on fire, and you know it. A man whose two daughters have been chased or sent packing by their husbands, and one of the sons has been declared a wanted criminal, is claiming that his house is not on fire. What do you want me to do for these people you just mentioned? Tell me. You want me to cover up for my son who is a criminal? No, I will not do that. You want me to compel the husbands of my daughters 
to take them back? No. Listen, you can't force a woman on a man who does not want her. Right? They had issues with their husbands, and their husbands sent them packing. But my fault. Now you want me to go and compel them to take them back? No, I will not do that. It doesn't mean that my heart is on fire and I'm chasing rats. No, you have to do something, at least. Annabelle, my daughter, your lovely daughter, she's six weeks pregnant and she can't give birth to that baby in your house. Please, get involved. Call the husband and talk to him. I know he will listen to you. Annabelle, your stupidity brought you back to this house. The news that you're pregnant is not pleasant to my ears at all. Upon the altar of confusion planted in this abode, I hereby terminate that pregnancy. Only that woman is your mother. I don't know what she did to you for you to hide your family away from her. Ever since I got married to you, I have not met your mother. Neither have our kids. Only for how long do you intend to conceal this from her? As long as she's alive. Honey, don't say a thing like that. I will say it and I will continue to say it. My mother is not a good woman. She's evil. Babe, she does not deserve to see any member of my family. And I have decided not to set my eyes on her until she's dead. It's not life to you. No. Huh? No. I want to see my mother-in-law when she is still alive. No matter how bad a woman she is, she's still your mother and my mother-in-law. Honey, please, I beg you, go to your mother and put things right. No! Never! Don't bother me about this, okay? I have 
warn you to stop taking our calls. If you continue, I will seize that phone from you. I will do it. I have reasons to believe that your father loves you so much. And if you have any problem, you should go to him. This is different. I'm scared of telling anyone. What could it be, my dear? This pregnancy. I don't understand what you mean by this pregnancy. It is long overdue. I don't understand what you mean by that. I have been pregnant for over a year now. Jesus and Christ. baby is not showing any sign of coming out. Consistency of it. I mean, I've had this dream almost every night. Then you don't just need to pray about it. You also need to fast about it. Someone told me that if one flies in the dream, it means one can easily escape from any danger or any spiritual attack. Who told you that? A man of God. 
If a man of God actually told you that, it means I'm saved. Mom, I can't believe you just said that. I don't think what the said man of God told Amara is the right translation of such act in a dream. For real? But what does it mean then? I can't really tell. But I know for certain that you're under some spiritual attack. You need to fast and pray about it. Maybe dad will know the meaning of the dream. Daddy! Hi, <laughs> How are you doing? Hey. Mm. Welcome, dad. Hi, dad. How are you doing? I'm good. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Welcome, honey. How are you? I'm fine. How was your trip? How was it? Mom, I hope you're going to tell him about the dream. What dream? Uh, honey, uh, it's a... It's nothing of importance, okay? Let's go. You need to take a shower. You need to eat. can actually come from a hospital when you left this house sick this morning. That's why I said you should guess. <laughs> Baby, you, yes. you're pregnant. Yes. Ah! It's three weeks pregnant. My goodness, this is good news. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. <laughs> Is exciting about this whole thing. I mean, what is the essence of bringing a newborn baby into this untold hardship, this wicked world, the miserable world? I don't even have a dime anywhere to take care of the pregnancy, let alone taking care of a newborn baby. Come on, love. Don't sound that way. Everything is going to be fine. Besides, we are managing. But for how long? For how long will I keep depending on you? How long will you be kind to both of us? Just look at me. Sweetie, everything I have is yours. Don't sound as if you're indebted to me. Just be patient. Everything is going to be fine. I promise you. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Grace 
service allowed you has expired. Have you taken care of your son yet? My lord, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried all I could but failed. Please, my lord, I beg for second chance. You ask for the impossible. No offending soul gets a second chance. You must embrace the fate that awaits all transgressors. I am sorry. Please, please, my lord, please, please, I beg you. You must leave my presence now. Now. Mama, this is why I've been avoiding you all these years. You are reason behind what happened to my father and my younger ones. Look at you. I am not a demon. You are a demon. You have no heart. No human heart. And I spared your life. Come on, Bernard. Don't be ridiculous. Do you know why I revealed that to you? I can still harm you if I wish. Mama, what do you want from me? Simple. Stop running away from your mother. See me as an innocent child sees the mother. I want to shame the enemy who believe that I have destroyed my family. You are all I have left, Bernard. I am not all you have left. Tiki is out there running mad in the streets. You place me in that condition. So be Bernard, I don't have a hand in what is happening to Liar! you. Liar! You are lying. And as for what you want from me, you will never get it. Let me tell you. I have no reason to even call you my mom again. As for my family, stay away from them. Should anything happen to them, should they have any scratch, I promise you, my God will judge you forever. You should have realized that you needed your family so much before you sold your soul to the devil. Bernard, you will regret this decision of yours. Bernard, you will regret it. Bernard. She must have slept up by now. <laughs> no. After a long journey, we must be very weak. I'm waiting for you to come and tell me what you wanted to say. Uh, who is that? Daniel. You said you had a dream. I want to hear oh, it. Honey, please. I do not want you to bother yourself with my personal troubles. What? Really? Don't you think you're wrong there? Look, whatever that bothers you should bother me too. I know. But please, let us sleep for now. I mean, we have enough time to talk about issues. All right? Really?
My Lord's healed. She's finally here. The prayer warrior. The humble servant of the Most High. The woman behind Pastor Godfrey's ministry. I finally bought her. By the tears. <laughs> Drink. Drink it. Good. Good. Welcome to the world of the weird. We are all agents of darkness. Our principal assignment is to torment the world. Henceforth, you shall be known as Jezebel because you have become one of us. You represent animate wickedness and this you must inflict on the entire world. There will be no reservations at all. Now step forward. Stretch forth your hands. the power to assume any form you want. You have the power to seduce anybody you want. You have the power to conquer anybody you want. I am giving you your first assignment and you will not find it too difficult. Your first assignment is to ensure that your husband who is an unflinching devotee of the righteous one was be made to give up his devotion to the righteous one. You will drive a wedge between your husband and the righteous one. You will create a chasm between all the believers and the righteous one. And then you must bring your husband here. Your husband has been a source of spiritual inconvenience to all of us here, and he must pay adequately for being a problem to us. Is that clear? Do not act stupid. Any attempt to divulge the secret means your death. trying to understand what you are turning into these days. I 
Are you talking to me? <clears throat> Look back again. We have many people here with us. Of course I'm talking to you, Friday. I am talking to you. Hold on. Is this how responsible men behave? Wait, is this how successful men behave? You wake up every morning, sit back, feel nothing. Now, Juliet, tell me, what exactly do you want me to do? Good question. Wonderful question. I want you to go out there. <laughs> I want you to run out there and go and do what other men do. You know I cannot run. My business place got burnt with all the goods I imported. You know it. Mm. <laughs> what a wonderful excuse you have given. Friday. Are you saying you will not do anything to better your life? I have done all I could. You are my witness. Mm. <laughs> my witness. You. What are you still doing? You didn't go to school. No, Ali, you've not paid my school fees. My teacher said I should not come to school. So I've not paid my school fees. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I have not paid your school fees. And they say you should not come to school. Then stay in the house. No, stay in the house, so useless boy. Freddy, what are you saying? You're calling your own son useless? Oh, yes. Hmm. He's a useless child. Nine. I know you don't want to do anything for yourself. And that is, you have reduced yourself to a useless man. Eh? You are nothing but a useless man. Did I hear you call me a useless man? No, if you didn't hear me, I will even shout it. Friday, you are a useless man. Ah! Father, it was so frightening. She showed me the kind of power that she possessed. <laughs> she simply waved her hand across a particular portion of the wall. And I said, I see my family from there. Hey! She said that she has her eyes on me all these years. That woman is evil. She has destroyed everybody in my family, including my father. I'm the new one left. And now she's after me. She will not succeed. You just have to be prayerful, Brother Bernard. The devil will never succeed over you. Confess to you. I am scared. And that is why I came here. Because I need you now. Mm, you don't have to be scared. Fear is the only way the devil can weaken your faith. Or don't you think she has been trying to get to you all these years but failed? So that is why she mapped out this strategy to weaken your faith. And if you allow her, then you are finished. So I will advise you to be prayerful. Just be prayerful. This man is dead. He's dead? She killed my dad. She killed him. Got him. Why are you lying against me? You were here and you saw what happened. Abby says, I didn't kill him. He started it. I only tried to save myself. I only defended myself. I didn't I didn't know it was going to result to this. Woman, you are under arrest for murder. You have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say will be used in evidence against you. Please, stop listening to her. Can you tell me to remain silent? She stop listening to her. She killed her husband. She pushed him and he died. Officer, I can't keep silent. How can you call me a murderer? I'm not a murderer. He started it. Please, I need you to come and pray for my mother. She has been very sick. 
and the sickness is not physical. From every indication, it is spiritual since the doctors have not been able to ascertain the actual cause of the sickness. Please. Brother Samuel, you don't need me to pray for your mother for her to be healed. You can also pray for her and she'll be healed. All you need is faith. Pastor, you don't understand. This is serious. Very serious. Pastor, if this were something I could have handled, I wouldn't be here. Something tells me that once you lay hands on my mother, that she will be fine. Please, Pastor, this is very important to me. Don't turn me down, please. Please. Your faith shall deliver your mother. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! Praise the living God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! There is something we call words of exaltation. They are undiluted words of faith from word of God that builds the faith of the weak. This, your weakness, is not ordinary. It is the handwork of the devil. But the devil shall not succeed. Amen. Amen. The devil shall not succeed. Amen. Amen. Then let the weak say that I am strong. I am, I am strong. strong. Let the weak say they are strong. I am, I am strong. strong. Let the weak say they are strong. My I mother is strong. Just this just I can see it. I said, what is going on in this compound? I have a very strong feeling that something is going on in this compound. If you don't tell me the truth, you know who I am. Now, what is happening in this compound now? Okay, Daddy, his brother Sam, he invited a certain man of God to pray for his mother. They are at the back. Let's see. I miss your food this time I'm away from home. Really? Yes. You enjoyed it? Of course, you know, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you know, I have what happened to you. And I'm terribly sorry about that. But please do not let it weigh you down. Just believe and trust in God. 
I believe a better chat will come that will stay. Okay? Thank you so much, Ivan. I was really devastated when I lost that pregnancy. But what scares me most ever since I lost that pregnancy is your brother. He's... He's changed. He doesn't spend time with me anymore. And... I don't know. Can you imagine he's still outside the house by this hour of the night? Hey, I hope you're not trying to cry. Please, don't cry. It's okay. I promise I will talk to him. Though he's my elder brother, but he listens to me. Okay? He will come back to the normal Jack he used to know. I promise you this. Please, Ivan. Just do that for me, okay? I will appreciate it. Please. I will talk to him. He's my brother, okay? Please don't cry. Alright? Okay, that's um come back yes. Would you people be able to fast and pray with me? Of course, Dad. Fasting and praying are becoming part of our lives. We've been doing this since we grew up. So if you want us to fast and pray, we can. Good. Are you not ready? I'm ready. Good. Your mother is briefed already. We are going to observe three days fasting and praying starting from tomorrow. I have a living by the Spirit. There are spiritual forces operating in this very house and we really need to fight against them and chase them to where they belong. Hmm? Alright, Dad. Okay. Alright, for me too. So we start tomorrow as you said. Good. That way is a lion. Have a good dance. Alright. Thank you, Dad. Why are you treating her that way? You know it's not her fault she lost the pregnancy. It's not about the pregnancy, Ivan. Of late I've come to realize something. Everything doesn't seem to be alright with that girl. Oh. My spirit keep telling me she's behind my problems. Problems? What are you talking about? Ivan. I know exactly what I'm talking about, but you may not understand. I think that girl is possessed. Possessed? I mean, okay, fine. Look at it this way. Who loses pregnancy the way she lost her baby? I mean, without an accident, nothing. Okay, fine. Okay, just look at me. I was doing very well before she came into my life. Uh -huh. But look at me today. I'm running Helter Skelter to borrow money from people just to start life again. <laughs> I understand your condition. But it sounds crazy when you believe Susan is behind your miseries. I mean, come on. At some point in life, a man experiences difficulties. Yes. It happens to everybody. That is the ups and downs of life. But the way you handle it defines you as a man. Please do not give Susan this impression. It's really going to break her heart. Please. Second action! Lord of Jesus!
I brought it to the town from somebody. Yes. Oh, uh, my way back home, I'm about to attack us. Jesus. Oh, uh, I'm about to You need to me money. Don't me money. Hey! Don't touch me! You are the cause of all this. You are the cause of all this. Brother. shouldn't have. Look, we are starting our fasting today. So, we are married. Are we not husband and wife? Joined together in the holy matrimony? So, well, we are, but... No. No, but. You are my husband. I know. And we can do it any day, any time. Please. Come on, fasting or no fasting, come to the bedroom. No, please, we can't. No, no, no. no. Honey, let's go. Stop this. Stop it. Please. Stop. Please. You know what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? I know you love surprises. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Treating me this way, you're breaking my heart. I just need you to understand something. I mean, just just look at me. I have a lot going through my mind right now, okay? I'm going through a lot of things right now. Ever since I decided to settle down with you, everything about me has changed. I want to be in love, please. I'm asking for too much. Please. Okay. 
okay. I'm going to give you some time alone. But promise me you won't chase me out of the house. And you also promised me that you will never come closer. I don't want your food. I don't want anything about you. I don't even want to see the room. Just go. Leave me alone. Just go. supposed to be taking your siesta. When did you people come back? Dad, why do I have this feeling that we are giving the devil a chance in this family? Hmm. That's a weird thing to say. What do you mean by that? Dad, we agreed on a two-day fasting and prayer. My sister and I are observing it. Uh -huh. What's this, Dad? What is the matter with you? You're just a child and mind the kind of things you say, okay? But mom, he's saying something important. Uh, look it, look it. You don't need to worry about the fasting and prayer anymore. God is in control. Look, I have talked to God in prayer and he assured me there is no cause for alarm. So you go in and take your siesta. Hmm? I can't believe you, Dad. We really have no cause for alarm. You heard your father. There is no cause for alarm. Just go in. God is in control, okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you kids? Huh. Uh, 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 so, Daniel. Mom. Please. I have some um, some of this uh, watermelon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is not what I planned. Confusion is the order I established here. Why are they coming together? I'm not angry with you. I know you're my sister, but I'm saying you're so But I'm not. Listen, Anthony. I'm not angry with you. This is your life, and you have the right to live it the way you like. But please do me a favor. Stop telling people that I'm your girl, for I'm not. I have no man in my life, and I wish to remain like that. Okay? I know you, Clara. You don't have less than 15 of them. Hey, can I just call it there? Are you in that calling my sister is <laughs> Then what are you girls? You are prostitutes. Ah! Are you going to you what you do? insulting our sisters. What is wrong with you? Um, my friend, stay out this. Bro, I am disappointed. How can you call this slut, this buffoon? And what are we to him? Eh? Prostitute. You are mad. You are stupid. You are mad. You are stupid. Are you out of your mind. She even has the right to accuse me of snatching her boyfriend. I mean, who takes a slut like her seriously? Huh? 
You are mad. You are mad. You are mad. Very mad. Very mad. Very mad. Ah, Marachi, anybody can preach now. Ah, get out of here. I want to sleep. Go, go, and don't stop me again. Out! And where is that? He's asleep and there's no one to be disturbed. What do you mean by that? That's what he said. This is stupid. Amara, do you agree with me that dad needs help? Not only him, mom too. They don't just want to admit it. I don't understand what's going on in this house. Mom and dad have become less spiritual. We don't even gather to pray like before. I don't really understand what's going on in this place. Let's go. What's the point? Now, Dad is supposed to hold a sermon tonight. We're simply going there to be embarrassed with so many questions. Please, I can't afford the embarrassment. Let's go back. Let's go. Jezebel. I'm not serious. What is it to you? He is my lawfully wedded husband. We were joined together in holy matrimony. We have two children from that union as witnesses. What do you desire we do with them? My love, serious. He loves me so dearly. He provides for me everything I need and whenever I need them. But he antagonizes this altar. I want him stripped off all his spiritual powers. I want us to break completely every link he has with his creator. I want him to become an object of shame and mockery to the congregation he controls. <laughs> <laughs> My love, serious. I want God chained in this altar forever. And I want to have control of his entire life. All your wishes are granted.
Jezebel. My love, Cyrus. In due course, I shall reward you amply for eliminating one of our biggest problems. Thank you, my love, Cyrus. Lady Payne. My lord. I warned you about your son, Bernard. And you vouched he was not going to be a source of inconvenience to anybody. Now he's not only a problem to you, but to this temple as well. I want you to go home and take care of him, all right? All right, my Lord Sirius. Hi, uh, hey, good afternoon. Right, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, is pastor around? Yes. Pastor. What can I offer you? Nothing, Pastor. I'm okay. Just that we've not seen you in church for some days now. Even yesterday, that was Sunday. You were absent from the church. Your kids said you were not feeling fine, so I decided to come and check on you. Yes, I was a little bit sick, but I'm fine now. Hmm? I'm okay now. Uh, how is your mother? She's not fine. She's not getting better. This is why I came here. Pastor, you promised you were going to come and see my mother since Saturday. I waited for you. You did not come. Oh, 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 oh. God, God, God. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. It escaped my mind. Please, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Huh? Sorry, dear. But just remember what I told you last time. You don't need me to come and pray for your mother for her to be healed. You can as well pray for her. She'll be free. Eh? Pastor. I don't think you understand the gravity of what I'm telling you. My mother is sick, very sick. Pastor, you told me to observe three days fasting and prayers, which I did. It ended on Saturday. You told me once I was done, you were going to come and pray for my mother. You were going to come and see my mother. But I'm done, but I, I don't... I said that? Yes, you did, Pastor. Well, I... God, I didn't remember saying that. But well, there's no problem. You know what is going to happen? You're going to observe another three days of fasting. Hmm? This time around, I will come. Another three days fasting? Yes. Uh, Pastor, I, I need to... Pastor, is everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm all right. You are highly lifted. 
set up. There is no one like you. Let us hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord reaching us from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verses 10. It says, Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your God, so let nothing terrify you. I will make you strong and help you. I will protect you and save you. Amen. Those who are angry with you will know the shame of defeat. Those who fight against you will die. Amen. And they will disappear from the earth. Amen. I am the Lord your God. I strengthen you and say to you, do not be afraid, for I will help you. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and our God, gracious Lord Jesus, in your presence there is liberty, in your presence there is freedom, and today as a family we stand together and we come against every works of darkness, principalities and powers, we subdue them and render them. fails to stink. The little children will have no option than to throw it into the fire. Bernard, you refuse to understand your mother, the same woman that gave you life, nurtured you. I am capable of taking the life away from you. Upon your resistance and provocation, I hereby terminate that life and that of your entire household. what you have caused I warned you against that young man but you wouldn't listen you said there was nothing he could do now you're paying for your carelessness I'm sorry I'm sorry my lord I didn't know he has become this strong Lady Paines I am giving you three days just three days to take care of that idiot or you will regret for as long as you leave. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes, yes. Sandra, are they your friends? Yes, they're my friends. Wow. I am so excited today. I've never been this happy before. <laughs> yes, 
That's because you're beginning to appreciate my good work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you and your friends for shopping. Yes, we need that to complement this new experience. <laughs> <laughs> Augustine when he was preaching in Greece and then I realized that Greece is everything. Just read it, you understand that you know? Wait a minute Daniel, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Teaching me your mother, the scripture? No mom, no. I'm not teaching you the scripture. I'm just trying to make you understand that grace is what we need in this family at a time like this. I don't know. But I've been placed on drugs for six weeks. Why? He said I have a spinal complication. Spinal what? Why didn't sustain any injury? Ah, that's what the doctor said. Honey, <sighs> oh, yeah, please, uh, can you get me some food? But Dad, we are not supposed to eat. We are fasting, remember? Oh, kids. Well, I just told you people that I've been placed on drugs now. Huh? Dad, that can wait. I was just telling Mom about Grace before you came in. That Grace can... Can you kids please listen to yourselves? Your father is here dying, and you're here talking about Grace Day's favor or whatever, uh, fasting that. Honey, please, let me go in and get some food for you to eat, okay? You need to take your drugs, alright? But Dad! Look, look. You kids don't understand the value of prayers more than I do. Health is paramount. Dad? This is not you talking. This is not you. Jack, I should go back to my father's house. Baby, it's not what you think. Please, I need you. I, I beg you in the name of God, don't leave me. I'm going through a lot right now. I don't even know where to start. 
Look, okay, fine. I'm sorry about the whole things I did wrong to you. I'm sorry about the days I ignored you. I'm sorry about the days I left your food on the dining without eating. I'm sorry about the days I left you on the bed. Please. Baby, please, I need you. Please, I beg you, please. Please. Me? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You hurt me real bad. I'm sorry, please. I don't know what is wrong with me. Please forgive me. I need you, baby. Please. Special prayers, a gorgeous looking girl like you would need. Maybe the touch of an anointed man of God. Ah, of a man of God. Special kneel prayer. down. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, in That the kind of prayers again. for us. Even mom. Oh, I should have taught that lady a huge lesson. I shouldn't have obeyed him when he said I should let her go. Why did I even listen to him? He has lost the respect I once had for him as a father. But why is he behaving this way? He was not like this before. Or has he been pretending all this while? Amara. I'm as confused as you are. 
Maybe he's been a hypocrite all these years. Midweek service, and you're already late. We should be in church. Please go. I want to sleep. You want to sleep? When it's time for midweek service, he's going to preach. Ah, Marachi, anybody can preach now. Ah, get out of here. I want to sleep. Go, go, and don't disturb me again. Out. He squared her. She messed up at school, and he squared her. And you are this way, even when you knew you were at fault. What did you do? Did she you... got into a fight, and Dad got to know about it. You should not have done that. Amara, you know where you're coming from. Daddy was right after all. So get into yourself, all right? And come inside. You didn't have to do that. Why did you do that? See, Amara, I know why I did what I did, okay? Our family would be ruined if mom gets to know what happened. Calm down. We'll talk to dad ourselves. All right? The period of grace allowed you to have expired. Have you taken care of your son yet? My lord, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried all I could but failed. Please, my lord, I beg for second chance. You ask for the impossible. No offending soul gets a second chance. You must embrace the fate that awaits all transgressors. I am sorry for you. Please! Please, my lord! Please! Please, I beg you! You must leave my presence now. Now. Daddy this morning? No, I think he's still sleeping. Why? He promised me money to get something very, very important to me. And the person that will give the money to will soon be here any moment from now. What's this? Then you have to wait. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait. I can't wait. I have to wake him up. I really have to wake him up. Good morning. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, kids. How are you? I'm fine. Day. Hope Dad is awake. Your daddy did not return last night. I tried to call him, but his phone was switched off. I don't know what is going on.
Where am I? Who are you? Why did I get to this place? Please, please, don't hurt me. Shut up. For encroaching into the dark forest where we bury the conscience of the benevolent, you already deserve death. But I'll spare you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please, show me the way out of this place. My name is Drachmas. You have a reason being here. So come down and follow my lead. Godfrey, where did I go wrong? What did I do to deserve this? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is not happening. You, Pastor Godfrey, a man of God. Oh, please, somebody tell me that I'm dreaming. Somebody tell me that I'm dreaming. <laughs> Your pictures, your photos are out there, on the internet, everywhere. A man of God, sleeping with the prostitutes on the streets. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> you promised to stop seeing that lady. You knew about this. We once caught them, Mom. But we didn't tell you. Because he promised it would change. You both knew about this and you decided to hide it from me. I wanted to tell you, but Daniel made me not to. And that promise he was going to change for good. Oh, look at it. That is it. He refused to change because you both were protecting him. Now he has made both mockery of himself. He has made a jest of himself and his family. What a shame! What a shame! Oh God! Why me? Why the man I love and trusted so much? Why? Please. I'm so sorry. But I feel like killing myself right now. Peter, you better kill yourself and stop yourself from this embarrassment. I'm so ashamed of you already. Just go kill yourself. Go and die. I love it so okay, please. please. You have every right to feel the way you're feeling right now. You have every right to be mad at me. I'm mad at myself too. Oh, please. Forgive me. Forgive me. This is all I can say. Spare me! Devils, do it. Spare me on that. Just spare me. Who is the devil? Yeah. Where is he? Look at you. You are the devil himself. Welcome to the temple of the Great Order of the Red Demons. 
this order supersedes every other order in this universe. Be rest assured that the safety which you seek, you shall find. But before we make you one of our subjects, you have to make a demonstration of commitment to this order. I would have asked for your soul. But that you have pledged to another. Therefore, you must sacrifice the son of your only surviving son to this order. You have 24 hours to make this sacrifice. What? She has paid allegiance to the red demons. And you let her do that. Well, let's play her. I thought I had struck her down. I didn't know what she did the red demons. I didn't know. This means trouble. Trouble. Don't let it bother you. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Yeah. I can't. Don't worry. It's not beyond me. the first law of our great order and you know the consequences you shall pay for it why trespass into our territory serious you trespassed first by taking what belongs to me I have come to pay back your trespass this lady is mine release her to me then someone is mistaken here you rejected her you left her to die, and we came to savage her. Is that trespassing? She may have run to you, but she belongs to me, and I want her back. You rejected her, remember? She's now ours, not yours. So take your hand off what is not yours, before you have yourself to blame. Serious. You are spoiling for a fight you cannot finish. But if this is the way you want it, Okay by me. You wait for me. I am coming. Continue. Nothing will happen to you. Just that. And you left her. You had her. You should have finished her. Do you know what it means if this message is being sent to the subject? Should this woman leave? I'm still in control. <clears throat> no, I don't want to do it. Control of what? Not serious. Why can't you admit that you have lost? Jed, what you're talking? You're talking to me. What you're talking? I'm sorry, my lord. I am not trying to sound disrespectful. I just hope you know what you are doing. I said I know what I am doing, I am in charge. I don't need you or anybody to tell me what to do. And you have annoyed me. You have annoyed me. You not happy with your looks? Even as a spiritual entity, you're still beautiful and glamorous. That is one major edge we have over that contraption where Sirius reign as Lord. Thank you. But there's something that bothers me. What is it? 
have this night to sacrifice my grandson. But I'm scared because they are having a vigil and the priest with them is powerful and righteous. It requires me going in there to take the child myself. But I can't find strength to penetrate. I will be your strength. You don't need to worry. I will follow you there. Really? Yes. Thank you. I will forever appreciate you. Thank you. But, will everything be alright? Everything will be alright, woman. I'll show you. I will follow you there. We'll get ourselves equipped. And I will storm the vigil. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15 he said they will surely gather but because their gathering is not of God he said they will scatter for your sake therefore I want you to open your mouth and begin to wage war against the kingdom of darkness against the witches and wizards everywhere they are gathered against this family let the Lord arise let the enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ let my children for they are mine! Smile once you can take your hands off this family! Because every family has a room and that family has a room and that mistress in and they call evil. You are a liar. You are a liar! For it is written in Psalms chapter 24 verse 1 that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world! And everything in it, including these walls. You lie. Shut up in the name of Jesus. You lie. I come against you. Oh,
But God is giving you a second chance. A second chance that the devil cannot give you. Therefore, I employ you today. Give your life to Christ. Amen. Amen. Repent of your sins. Amen. And God will forgive you. Amen. For he said in the book of Luke chapter 15 verse 7. He said, there is joy in heaven over a sinner that repents. Woman, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Yes, 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 yes I do, I do, I do. I do. <laughs> together. Why did you come down here? I reflected on all that has happened in this family and I lost interest in prayers. But I'm not stopping you from praying. You can go back upstairs and continue your prayer. But I don't want to be a part of it any longer. your faith, Daniel. What are all those things that you learned from Bishop Augustine? My faith has not really been shaken. It has been completely destroyed. I have lost faith in prayers. I have even lost faith in God. Amara, we grew up believing in righteousness because our parents brought us up that way. Now, where are our parents today? They are doing the exact things they taught us not to do. You know our parents are under attack. You even told me about it. Please, brother, let's help them. You think they can be helped? I know they need our help. And I know they can be helped. I have a feeling that that is under spiritual bondage. They need our prayers. Please, brother, let us help them. Please. Woman, before you came here tonight, God already revealed to me that you were going to come here to cause havoc. I want to tell you that it was God that brought you here. I was, I was possessed. I was possessed by the devil. They are the ones that forced me into destroying my own family. Hey, I never, I never knew what I was doing. Hey. Satan is the lord of manipulations. The Bible said in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, that his mission is to steal to kill and to destroy. But thank God for the grace that came with Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. And I tell you tonight that deliverance has come upon this household. Amen. Mama, now that you have repented, what now happens to Chiki, my brother? I still need mad in the streets. Eh? The Bible said there is joy in heaven. 
over any soul that repents. I tell you, the kingdom of darkness is already in disarray because of her repentance. The same God that healed her and saved her from the kingdom of darkness will free every captive in this family at his appointed time. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. going to be having midnight prayers tonight. For the family, right? I know. Don't forget to set your alarm. It's 12 30. I know. I've done that already. You can see for yourself. Oh. Alright. Good night. I didn't wake up. Why did you wake me? I didn't wake up too. The alarm beeped and I tried to wake up. But I was so weak. Why is it that anytime we try to make this move, we always fail? It worries me. I've been thinking along that direction too. I don't think this is a situation we can handle. We need help. Look, Hamara. I think we need to invite a powerful man of God to pray for this family. Then, who do we call? My spirit tells me, Father Moses of the Holy Ghost Ministry. Let's reach him. I know Pastor Godfrey, the one that was in the news some time ago. Yes, exactly why we're here, madam. My sister and I are convinced that something is seriously wrong with our parents. They've deviated from everything they taught us. Something tells us we need a priest now. Hmm. But you just confirmed to me that both of you are not Catholics. You can't just come in here and you want to see the priest. Please, ma. Help us because of God. We really need to see the priest. Yes. And most importantly, we understand Father Moses is a Holy Ghost priest. We once attended this crusade. Many people from other churches attended too. We prayed for all. A miracle happened. We are ready to become Catholics now. 
We are dying. Please don't make me cry. Hmm? Both of you should just wait here. Let me go in and see the priest. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Just wait. Leave the priest for me to handle. I will say us. So I did. It is our responsibility to focus on blinking attention on activities within our family and in our zones. You are failing in your responsibility. You have denied your children the attention they deserve, and now they are planning to set free our captive, your husband. And this you must not allow to happen. Pastor Godfrey. Your wife had the opportunity to turn her back to the dark world and experience the deliverance that only Christ can give. She refused and walked out on the priest. Would you also follow her example? I'm still surprised that you're here. How? I came here by the leading of the Holy Spirit. The cry of your children has got into the ears of God. Huh? I put your spirit in this cursed goat. So I have to prolong your doom, but I see that you're not even worthy to live. So you must die now.
Ne killed him. Pastor Godfrey. Many people will be wondering what a Catholic priest is doing with someone like you. But what I can say is that God loves you. That is why he has given you a second chance. It is now time for you to rise up in your spirit and take up this battle against principalities and powers. They have taken over all human-made altars in this town and even beyond. But we, the children of God, must not let them prevail. Amen. First of all, I, I must thank God for using you, Father Moses, to revive me. Jesus. I will always appreciate it. To my lovely children for not abandoning me. God will bless you. Who am I that God loves so much? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. His love for me cannot be overemphasized. Not deserving of the second chance. But because of his loving tender mercies, he gave it to me. Now I know that I will always worship Him in truth and spirit all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Father Moses, God bless you. Thank you very much, Father. Father, I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm just coming from your parish. They told me you came here. Father, please. There is something that is of utmost urgency you need to do for me. That is why I've been looking for you. I summoned all of you at very short notice because we are faced with a very desperate situation that demands a desperate solution. Where is Lady Havoc? Jezebel is not here too, my lord. My lord. Jezebel has gone to join Lucifer, the forgotten story. My lord. Samuel has gone to invite the servants of the righteous one. They are right at your gate and about to set Margaret free. Bring me the good in which her spirit is a prison. and to set the captives free. Amen. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God the Father, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son?
to your parish to cover you. Jesus Christ. You are trespassing. Father, this is my family. These are my children. I have the right, I have the authority to do with them whatever I choose. In your own interest, Father, leave my compound now. Jesus. You are on. For the earth is the Lord's. Amen. In the fullness thereof. The world and everything that is in it. Your reign over this world is over. And today they shall be free from your terrible hands. Hallelujah. And today, Father, I shall set you free from this world. It is written the Lord has given Jesus a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every door will confess that Jesus is Lord. Bow in the name of Jesus. Jesus! Bow in the name of Jesus. I come again show. Are you green? I am fighting the battle of my life and I will tolerate no distractions. You ask me what I am doing? Speak no more, for you have been rendered powerless. I, serious, rendered powerless. That is what you are because you have been defeated by the power from the light. I have come to take over. To take over this temple? You don't sound legit. You're an idiot. And you look like one. <laughs> the golden rule. The price for any failure here is death. No second chance. What happened in your abode? as a result of your making things. Sirius, I warned you. I warned you. You will die. But you are not taking this temple away. I have come to take charge. Try me! Ah! Ah! I am strong again. Yes. 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 I am strong again. Yes. Yes. I am healed. Yes. 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 Yes
Your father, your husband, that just appeared here, has been serving as the apostle of Satan. And he has changed all of you in that evil altar. But Jesus sets you free today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I set that altar on fire. In the name of Jesus. I set that altar on fire. In the name of Jesus. I set that altar on fire. You are free. The Son of God makes free. He's free indeed. Amen. Take her to the hospital. She is the deliverer of the manipulations of the young people. Amen. Get her. Break 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 her.